Top officials have said that the Indian Air Force will make the indigenous Astra system as its standard long-range air-to-air system, and is not even looking at the French Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air system, as the force wants to promote the indigenous system across all platforms. The 100 km range Astra is nearing induction after the recent successful test against maneuvering targets, and its performance is regarded to be better than similar Russian systems currently in service. DRDO Chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the DRDO is currently working to increase its range to 160 km. The Empowered Apex Committee headed by Indian Defence Secretary has reviewed the progress in the construction of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier at the Cochin shipyard. The team critically examined the current status of the project, which is scheduled to start basin trials very soon, under which the propulsion transmission and shafting systems will be tested, which will be followed by sea trials in mid-2020. After more than four years of signing an intergovernmental agreement, India and Russia have finally concluded the price negotiations for 200 CAMOF helicopters, and a formal contract will be signed in the next few months. The price for the 200 helicopters would be around 28,000 crore rupees, which would also include transfer of 50% technology, including structure of the helicopter, along with its blades and landing gear. After the latest test of 3,500 km range K-4 submarine launched ballistic system, top experts have confirmed that it is capable of carrying a 2-ton payload, and it also features an inertial navigation system, which allows it to move in three dimensions while approaching its target at hypersonic speeds. The 3,500 km range of the K-4 will also vastly reduce the likelihood of detection of India's nuclear submarines during a mission, as they were previously equipped with 750 km range K-15, due to which the submarines would have to move closer to enemy shores. India's Chief of Defence Staff and the Chief of Indian Air Force have inducted South India's first squadron of Su-30 fighter jets, that have been modified to carry the air-launched variant of the BrahMos supersonic cruise system, which gives the Su-30 a combat radius of 1,500 km without mid-air refuelling, and the 222 squadron will now be able to strike at targets deep in the Indian Ocean region with pinpoint accuracy in all weather conditions. Ahead of a key meeting of the Financial Action Task Force in China, Pakistan has urged the US to support its bid to exit from the grey list of the Financial Action Task Force. The FATF had decided to keep Pakistan on its grey list in October, and if it is not removed off the list by April 2020, Pakistan will be moved to a blacklist of countries that faces severe economic sanctions.